So imagine, if the forest in Indonesia must be changed to rice farm just to cope with the increasing population, how many hectares of forest must be changed? What will happen to Indonesia's emission? How many farmers do we need in the future? Good afternoon, dear judges. I am Hilman. Together with Jay and Chelty, we are ERISE team from School of Engineering, the University of Edinburgh. We will now give you the sustainable answer to those challenges and explain to you why you should not miss the opportunity to invest in our innovative system called ERISE. Our home country, Indonesia, is now facing a time bomb called agriculture trilemma. Indonesia has to balance supply and demand of rice by opening new lines for rice paddy fields to reduce rice import. But it actually increases carbon dioxide emission from agriculture sector. In addition to that, even with the increasing number of rice paddy fields, farmers' prosperity has not been improved significantly in the last decade. So, we built this system called e-rice with two innovations. One, it is an automated system based on system of rice intensification farming method that will double rice production rate. The second innovation is our financing scheme that centered in productivity performance contract that takes the capital burden away from the farmers and enable them to improve their farming system in a sustainable and low carbon way. Compared to conventional farming method, system of rice intensification or SRI requires less seeds, less water, and use natural fertilizer while doubling production per farm area. However, Farm operation becomes more complex since field moisture levels should be monitored and regulated. Our ERI system has all the advantages of SRI, complete with necessary improvements to help Indonesian farmers adapt better with the more advanced farming method. We use automation technology and photovoltaic panels to power the system, making farm operation easier and more environmentally friendly, while also allowing deployment at remote areas. Moreover, final control of farm condition can also be achieved. The contract will be based on productivity performance, or we call it as PPC. It has a quick yield, high income, and has strong resilience. All the increased revenue due to utilization of the device will be used to pay all the costs that incurred during the period of the contract, including the capital costs. Later, once the contract ends, all the revenue will be taken by the farmer. The farmer who utilizes this device will get an NPV of around 27,000 pounds sterling. The project has IRR of 187% with less than one year payback period. Investment scheme will be divided into two stages. For the early stage, it will be funded by angel investors through grant funding scheme, while during the later stage, it will be funded by government subsidy and so forth. The ROI system is not only about the technology and the financing scheme. We will also collaborate with local community through partnership with local polytechnic and technicians as our local customer service. They will also work with us during the installation as well as operation and maintenance. We will also provide capacity building to ensure they have a complete knowledge regarding our system. Now, our short-term target is to have 100 ERAS devices deployed at potential farms in Indonesia. The long-term target is to have ERAS system installed at 25% of Indonesian rice farms. The biggest social risk is related to farmers who are resistant to change, which might be mitigated by having accessible financial scheme good customer service and cooperation with local government and businesses. We also expect increasing financial risk related to economic recession due to COVID-19, which may be mitigated by finding other capital source, emergency working capital provision, and seeking business interruption insurance. The scale-up requirement for ERISE includes registering system patent, learning from previous deployments, seeking capital for expansion, new emission limit for agriculture sector, and research and development grant provision. So in short term, our system is modernizing and decarbonizing Indonesia's farming sector. 470 million of carbon dioxide emission from land use change can be avoided. Greenhouse gas emission from conventional farming practice can also be reduced while still increasing farmers' revenue stream. In long term, ERISE is improving national food security, helps the preservation of biodiversity, developing a sustainable economy for farmers, thus promoting farmers' regeneration. So, to develop ERISE and realize our goals, we need 225,000 pounds to deploy the first 100 units with 8% of IRR and MIRR with two years payback periods for the investors. This is the untapped climate opportunity that you should not miss. ERISE, double the production, half the emission. <laughs>